Hey, this is Russ. You know, one of my subscribers had an interesting thing that he mentioned recently. He said that his physical therapist told him to back off a little bit on his therapy. He, he felt that he was pushing himself too much, and so that was causing a problem, and that he should back off a little bit, do a little bit less, but still continue to do it. So that got me thinking, <laughs> all right? Um, I'm not sure if I've ever mentioned this before, but I did take a slight break from physical therapy um, early this year, okay? And here's why that happened, all right? For me, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to say that every insurance company is a little bit different, all right? But for me, the insurance company required that I pay a $50 copay every time I went to physical therapy. Now, if you think about it, I, I did 80 physical therapy sessions, right? At $50 a shot, yeah, I paid a lot of money. I, I paid $4,000 out of my pocket to do my physical therapy, right? Not including other things that I had to deal with as well, okay? Because um, obviously there's, there's cost involved when you go for the actual operation. There's cost involved when you do the MUAs. So <clears throat> I have co-pays for that too, but that's not the point, right? The point was this, physical therapy is only allowed 60 times per year for me under my insurance policy. Now your insurance policy might be slightly different. They, they may give you more, they may give you less in one year's time. Now that 60 physical therapy sessions for my company is, <clears throat> it could be 60 physical therapy sessions for your knee and then let's say you hurt your wrist, you don't have any more physical therapies for that year, <laughs> all right? It's 60 total, whether it's your hip, your knee, your wrist, your fingers, whatever, okay? 60 total in a year. That's what they gave me. So I had finished up 60 sessions um, before the end of last year. So now it's a new year uh, in 2020, and uh, they had switched to a different authorization company. So uh, I had to wait. I had to wait to get authorized from that company to allow me to start my physical therapy again. And that took, I believe, almost two weeks, okay? So I couldn't go to physical therapy because unless I wanted to pay full amount myself instead of just the copay, which was hefty, um, I, I couldn't do the physical therapy. So I took a break, all right? And when I got back from that break, I found that uh, my knee actually felt better. <laughs> It had been strained for so much from the September 19th, um, 2019 through the end of December of 2019 that I think the physical therapy was actually hurting the knee more than helping the knee at that point. So that two weeks or so of break actually gave my knee a little bit of rest. So when, when I got back to physical therapy, I found that I was actually able to get more flexion. All right. So in my opinion... On my own knee, I'm not saying everyone's knee, that two weeks away from physical therapy actually was beneficial for me. It gave my knee a little breathing room, <laughs> all right? And then we started it up again. And uh, I did a total of 80 physical therapy sessions, okay? So if, if you think about it, maybe taking a little break from physical therapy isn't such a bad thing. Now, I will say this. I wouldn't take that break right up in the beginning of your physical therapy times, all right. In other words, you just get your knee done and then you go and you, you do a few sessions. Ow, it hurts. And then you take the break. No, I don't believe in that. All right. I think you have to keep pushing through that pain. OK, but there's going to come a point in time when you've done so much that you're actually hurting your knee more by doing that much pushing on it and maybe backing away from it a little bit. Maybe whether it's taking uh, less, um, less of that pushing um, as far as exercise is concerned, or totally stopping from physical therapy for a short time to let the knee kind of get a little bit of uh, space. <laughs> uh, I think that actually might be a good thing. Now, I don't know how physical therapists feel about that. I don't know how doctors feel about that. I'm not telling you to do it, all right? But I'm telling you from my experience, it actually helped me. It really did. It actually helped me a little bit. And, and I think I, f I totally forgot to mention that. Um, so I don't want you guys to go all, <laughs> all go to physical therapy and say, hey, Russ told me that I should take a break. I'm not saying that, all right? What I'm saying is that for me, 
that little bit of break after taking, um, you know, all that physical therapy time, <laughs> it was actually a good thing for me. All right. Anyways, if you're at that point where you've done so much and you feel that my, my knee's puffing up even more from all this work, maybe it wouldn't hurt to ask. All right. Maybe it wouldn't hurt to ask your doctor or ask your physical therapist, what if we took a little bit of a breather? All right. Maybe a little bit less of that work. Or, you know, if you do a certain amount of repetitions, maybe it's better to, you know, cut that in half or something. Or like in my case, you know, it was, it was mandatory because I wasn't going to pay the full amount. Uh, I took two weeks of break before going back and then doing more physical therapy. So investigate that, okay? That's something I think you should think about, okay? Short but sweet. That's a, that's a short, probably one of the shorter <laughs> Russ is Right videos, but I wanted to put that out there. And, and if you've done this, make a comment below. If you don't think this is beneficial, make a comment below as well, okay? And, and like I said, I'm thinking it's, it's, it's not good in the beginning to do this. If you've been doing it for a long time and you think your knee is hurting or actually uh, puffing up more because you're doing so much on it, is it a good time to take a little bit of breather? You know, maybe even if it's only a day or two, is that okay to do that? Check with your doctors and your physical therapists. Let me know, all right? Hey, if you like the video, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and do all those things, and I will talk to you guys next time.